is Zach Coburn from the Personal Trainers Business Incubator. And what I wanna to talk to you guys today is about building momentum and how you can use momentum and how to actually harness the power of momentum for your life and for your business. What I do is I work with fitness coaches and I help them start the coaching business and I help them see success. And one of the biggest things that I see is people not leveraging productivity correctly. This is like one of the biggest things that holds trainers back from seeing success. They just don't know how to manage their time. They don't know how to manage momentum. They don't know how to fully optimize their schedule to get the best results in their business and actually make progress in their business. And this came to me from a client of mine who was talking about going to Lightning in a Bottle. If you guys don't know, Lightning in a Bottle is a music festival. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love music festivals. I went to EDC this year. I did like four music festivals last year. But he asked me, he said, how do you balance growing your business and also making time to enjoy your life as well? For me, you know, that balance is very, very important because I'm 26. I'm going to be 30 here pretty soon. I do not want to let my 20s go by. There's a lot of entrepreneurs in the space saying that, oh, you need to sacrifice your 20s. For me, you only have one life. And so I want to make the most of it. What I understand is that you have to make sacrifices in order to harness the power of momentum in your business and in those experiences in life as well. So what he asked, he said, how would you approach going into this music festival? You know, I want to have a good time, but I also don't want to lose momentum. But I told him, I said, you have to accept the fact that when you do these big things and you go on these trips or you have these experiences, you are going to be making a trade off with momentum, but you are able to gain that momentum back in other sacrifices as well. So for myself personally, I understand that I am willing to sacrifice two, three, four, five, six, maybe eight weekends in a row in order for me to build momentum across those two months. And then I might sacrifice and break that momentum for a weekend trip that is actually worth it. I'll give you guys an example. So I call this going into the vortex. And so right now it is actually Sunday. Saturday and Sunday were work days for me. And I will have a seven day work week for months at a time because I'm able to carry that momentum into Monday and stay full force Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday, and you're able to just make this consistent progress. You have a good routine, your body's healthy, your mindset's right, and you're making like really, really solid progress in your business. But what happens is when you go on these trips, you break momentum, you break your flow. And it might take you a couple days to get back into that flow. If you go out on the weekend, say you go out Saturday, you get really drunk, you're hungover Sunday, and Sunday you're recovering, and then Monday you expect to pick back the pieces but because you're not in momentum, things kind of feel a little bit out of flow, it kind of feels like you're kind of dragging. What people don't realize that is that it's really hard to just snap right back into momentum and snap back into your flow. In reality, it might take you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to be fully back in force, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you might have your flow back, and then you break it again on the weekends. Where I see people go wrong, not harnessing this power correctly, about Saturday, maybe have some emotion on Sunday. Monday, they expect to get back, but it's a lot harder than they think. Tuesday, or Wednesday, they're back in full force, making progress. And then Friday, it's the week their momentum. Instead of making consistent progress like this, they're getting stuck with their momentum, staying in the same exact spot. And this is how you see people in the same position, you know, six months down the road, 12 months down the road. But a better way to do this is to actually set a date in which you're, you're excited to make that sacrifice for. It could be like a trip around the world. It could be a music festival with your friends. It could be your birthday. But something big that's actually worth the break in momentum. Work leading up to that break to actually give yourself that reward. But what will happen is you will have a seven day flow in which you're able to carry into each week and actually make consistent progress. I always make progress when I give myself two to three months of consistent work and then reward myself with a trip that I'll remember for the rest of my life. The reality is guys, if you're going out Saturdays and Sundays with your friends, you're likely not going to remember those times. You probably don't even remember what you did last Saturday. And so it's not the weekend, every single weekend things that you're going to remember. It's those big experiences that you're going to remember. I personally understand that I'm okay with sacrificing, you know, some of my weekends, not going out to get drinks, not going out to just hang out with friends, building something significant, because those are the things that I'm probably not gonna remember anyway. The trips that are gonna be well worth it, you know, a trip around the world, visiting my friends for the birthday or bachelor parties, things like that. Those are the memories that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. And those are memories that I can actually give myself and earn while also growing my business at the same time. So for you guys, if you're a developing coach and you're starting your business, be willing to sacrifice your weekends here and there 
to harness the power of momentum, get into flow, make really significant progress in your business, but give yourself some grace. Have a day in the month or day in a month or two months from now that you can look forward to knowing that you are going to be working up to that point. And then when you have that break of momentum, you have fun, give yourself some grace to get back in time. Whenever I'm coming back from a big trip, I understand that I'm probably not gonna snap back right away and that's okay. I understand that it might take me two to three days to get back in my flow and get back in my routine. I know that if I carry that on for the next two to three months afterwards, taking two to three days to get back in my routine is okay because I can sustain it for a longer period of time rather than people you know, trying to do it every single weekend. You just can't balance or make progress in, in both of it. Hopefully this tip found you guys well. Hopefully you guys harness the power of momentum and go out there and crush life.